Texoma listeners of local radio are mourning the loss of beloved local disc jockey Scotty Creston. Yeah, he passed away this morning following a lengthy battle with cancer. Josh Hogger joins us now to remember Scotty P. Josh. Guys, Texoma radio isn't quite going to be the same now that one of the most beloved people to ever hit the Wichita Falls airwaves is no longer with us. But even though he's gone, Scotty P and his legacy and his impact on our community won't be forgotten anytime soon. Texoma's country leader, 99.9 KLUR. 691-9999. If you grew up in Texoma, his voice on the radio is all too familiar. <laughs> I'm going to pay for that one, ain't I? Sadly, the airwaves in Wichita Falls lost one of the greatest at about 3 a.m. on Wednesday morning. A longtime radio personality and disc jockey for 99.9 KLUR passed away after several bouts with multiple types of cancer. His name was Scotty Preston, but listeners and fans knew him as the one and only Scotty P. Scotty P was first diagnosed with stage 4 colon cancer in 2016. Over the next six years, he would be diagnosed four times with a terminal form of cancer. And even though he would be declared cancer-free multiple times, it somehow kept coming back. And even in spite of that, for as long as he possibly could, Scotty P stayed on air and stayed involved in the life of Texoma. Anytime a nonprofit or somebody asked Scotty to do something for him, he was always the first one there. He was just the kind of guy that was a, a real public servant which is what our business is all about anyway. Big Jim Russell has been one of the most well-known voices in local radio for nearly half a century. He and Scotty P met because of KLUR, but it was years before they ever worked together. I actually knew Scotty's mom before I knew Scotty. She was a fan of the radio station. She'd call him her request songs all the time. And the first time I met Scotty, he told me that he wanted to be a disc jockey when he grew up. And so I said, well, why don't you just come and learn how to do the business? And he came and learned how to do the business. Scotty P started in sales, eventually working his way into the regular rotation on air. And when Scotty P was DJing, it was just natural. But as great as Scotty P was on air, he was even better off air. But he had a genuine love for people, and especially his fans. And so he'd been over backwards to take care of them. He was constantly helping out local businesses, connecting with fans, and serving Texoma. Last year, he organized a fundraiser for Ripley Weitenheimer, a one-year-old boy from Archer City who was diagnosed with cancer himself. And it's his work in the community that has made him so beloved. Of all the comments that I get from listeners, when Scotty found out that he had cancer a few years ago, I had so many people say, how's Scotty doing? How's Scotty doing? How's old Scotty P? Is Scotty doing okay? I had people ask me that a hundred times and that right there is a legacy in itself and despite the huge hole in the texoma airwaves left by scotty p's passing big jim says he's confident this isn't the last time he'll see his colleague brother from another mother and friend one thing i can say about scotty is this the bible says blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god scotty will see god i have no doubt in my mind i'll see him again and what a legacy that's left by Scotty P. Like you said, Daryl, he certainly will be missed here in Wichita Falls. And you can hear more of what Big Jim had to say about Scotty P later tonight over on our website, TexomasHomePage.com. I'm glad you had that in the story about Ripley, and I remember that was just last year, mm -hmm. and Scotty P had just come out, uh, and it seemed as though he had put cancer behind him, and, and right there he wanted to help that little boy just as much mm -hmm. as he could, mm -hmm. and uh, and that's uh, the way a lot of people are going to remember him for sure. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. All right, Josh, thank you so much for that report. Stay mm -hmm. with us. We're going to be right back with sports.